Hello friends, in the previous video we started the Gupta period and covered till the rule of Chandragupta the first. In today's video we are going to talk about the rule of Samudragupta, son of Chandragupta the first. Samudragupta ruled from 330 AD to 380 AD. There is some confusion among historians regarding the beginning of Samudragupta's rule. That is why in some books you will find this year 325, somewhere 330 AD and somewhere 325 AD. Apart from this, it has also been mentioned at some places that there was a fight between Samudragupta and a prince named Kacha to become the king after Chandragupta the first. And in such a situation, Samudragupta became the king only after defeating Kacha. Samudragupta was a devotee of Lord Vishnu and is considered to be the greatest ruler of the Gupta dynasty. We get most of the details related to him from a pillar. This pillar was originally erected by Ashoka and it is called the Ashokan Pillar of Allahabad. So there is an Ashokan inscription on this pillar. Below that the details related to Samudragupta were also inscribed by Harisen. Harisen was the court poet of Samudragupta and he got this inscription written in Sanskrit language. In this inscription, Samudragupta has been mentioned as Lichavi Dohitra, and here the military conquest of Samudragupta has been explained in detail, and on the basis of these details, the military conquest of Samudragupta can be grouped into five parts. Let us see these five groups in detail. In the first group, you can see the skulls of those nine rulers who used to rule in the Ganga Yamuna Doab region. After defeating these nine rulers, Samudragupta took these states completely under his control. You should know three names of these rulers. These are Achutya of Ahichhatra, Ganpati Nag of Mathura, and Prince of Kota family in Bulans Shahar area. After this, in the second group, the ruler of five such frontier states have been placed, which used to belong to Bengal, Assam and Nepal. And apart from this, the republican states of Punjab as well. After defeating all these rulers, their regions were taken under control by Samudragupta. After this, if we look at the third group states, then these are the states which have been called Atavika states. These are the states which used to be forest kingdoms in the Vindhya region. After defeating these kingdoms, Samudragupta also took them under his control. After this comes the fourth group of regions. So here we are talking about the Dakshinapath expedition of Samudragupta. Here there were 12 such rulers of the south whom Samudragupta defeated and gave them back their kingdoms and made them a tributary state. That is, now the direct control over these states was of their rulers only. But those rulers were working under Samudragupta's suzerainty. Means from time to time they had to pay tribute to Samudragupta. They had to pay homage. In this list, you can also see Pallavas and Kanchi state of Tamil Nadu. After this, Shakas and Kushans have been placed in the fifth group. These were the states which were ruling in some scattered areas after the Shaka and Kushan dynasties were over. Especially, there were some states that used to belong to foreign territories. There was such a foreign ruler who had given himself the title Devaputra Shahan Shahi. The meaning of this title indicates that somewhere it must have been a descendant of Kushan dynasty. Samudragupta defeated all these rulers of this group and kept them under his suzerainty. That is, they were also made a tributary state. So if we want to see in the map that Samudragupta had direct control over a large part of India, then the map is in front of you. You can see that Samudragupta's direct control was mainly in North India only. This includes the Upper Gangetic Valley and a lot of that part which comes in modern UP. Apart from this, a large portion of central India was also under the direct control of Samudragupta. And along with this, the southwestern part of Bengal was also under the direct control of Samudragupta. Now let's talk about those parts of India where the rulers used to pay tribute to Samudragupta. Basically, the 12 kingdoms of the south, about which we read a while back, including the Pallavas, had become tributary state of Samudragupta. Along with this, the Shakas and Kushan rulers living in the west and northwestern region of India had also become the tributary state of Samudragupta. Although it is also believed that there were many rulers in the Shakas lineage who were not tributary states of Samudragupta. 
but looking at the Allahabad inscription, it seems that Samudra Gupta never faced defeat. And that is why Western historians know him by the name of Napoleon of India. In such a situation, Samudra Gupta's fame and his influence is not only in India, but was spread to foreign countries. We come to know from Chinese sources that Sri Lanka's ruler Megha Verman sent one of his missionaries to Samudgupta's court, sent many gifts and only after taking permission from him got a Buddhist temple built in Gaya. So this is also a big thing. But nowhere does it show that the ruler of Sri Lanka was a tributary state. So we discussed about the military conquest of Samudgupta and after the success of these military conquests, Samudra Gupta took a title and this title was Parakramana. After taking this title to celebrate his military conquest, he performed Ashwamedh Yagya and issued gold and silver coins as well. You can see that there is also a gold coin on which the motif of horse of Ashwamedha Yag is made. Apart from all these things, it has also been mentioned in Allahabad Pillar inscription that Samudra Gupta was a great musician as well as a great poet. And that's why he is also called Kaviraj. He must have been a good musician. It is known from the fact that he also issued some such coins in which he is playing Veena, that is harp. So these were the details related to Samudra Gupta who ruled from 330 AD to 380 AD. To understand Indian history and Indian polity in detail, do follow Bookstava playlist. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for watching Bookstava.